I know I cross check, thank you. Welcome to Marseille Gare de St. Charles, St. Charles railway station. Now we have just arrived and we had to take a bus from the airport to here. We were planning to take the train, but we have arrived quite late in the evening. Our flight was slightly delayed and we arrived later than planned. So it, it was going to be- 30 minutes. It only took 30 minutes, but it was going to be about an hour's wait for the train. And you also had to take a shuttle no. uh, bus from the airport to the train station. So I just thought, actually, is there a bus? And I looked it up and there was, and it was far easier than taking the train. So St. we- Charles? Yeah, to St. Charles, and that's where we were gonna end up anyway. Now we need to take the Metro two stops to our hotel, and it's the M2 line. And we have mapped it out, so let's go and take a look. According to this sign, it seems that you can just tap your debit or credit card to pay. One credit card, one passenger, equals one voyage. Shall we try that then, Paul? Do, we need, do you think we need to tap out? Well, I don't know, but let's just see. Well, let's see if this works. Have you got your card out? Well, I've got mine, so let's see what happens. Oh, it works. Well, I guess we'll find out if we have to tap out Wait, when we get to the where? other end. So we want to go this direction, in the direction of Guise. So we are here at St. Charles and we're going to take it two stops to Joliet on the number two line. Looks like quite an old train, the looks of things. All right, Paul. And we're here, two stops later. So we're going up the escalator and we'll see if we have to tap out. I like this picture of old Marseille. No need to tap out, just walk through. Shall I take one of these cases then? Let's see, off you go. Oh, simple as that. And here we are at Joylet station. And now all we have to do is find our hotel. But you'll see all that in another episode. Oops, you didn't subscribe, but there's still time. Just hit the subscribe button for It's Paul and Marcus on YouTube. Many shopping areas in France don't open on a Sunday, but here in Marseille, we have discovered the village docks, so the docks village, and it is a Sunday, and according to the website, the shops are open, but the door is open, so let's go take a look. It's a lamp with no light. What have we got? So it's all broken down into categories, 
Lots of restaurants and cafes. Waffle factory. I'm not sure what that is. Food areas as well. Shopping. And lifestyle. Wow. Look at all this. It's open. Yeah, it's a large open area. It's quite decorative. Oh, what have we got here? The Docks Village Championnat. Oh, the champion. Oh, and like the runners up. Ah, right. What do you think this is, Paul? It's a water fountain with sort of like teacups. Look at this. Or teapots, I suppose. Like this um, anise one, this raspberry one, this lemon one, kind of. So it's like one of those pick and mix type prices. I didn't know that they had this kind of place in France. I thought that was an absolutely fabulous building. So it's the old courtyard, basically, or dockyard, if you like. Renovated. All renovated. And we think it's more sort of like pop up style shops. And not all of them were actually open. In honesty, however, we've just discovered that opposite there is another huge, more commercial type shopping centre called Terraces de Port, 
the port terraces. Yes. And I think we're in need of some coffee and I've just seen a Starbucks and I'm sure there's other cafes too. So let's go take a look. Oh wow, look at this. Oh, wow. We have just stepped out of the terraces to port and in front of us we have the port. A cruise ship is in, the water in front of us, an island over there. This is absolutely fabulous. Look at this. The water is totally blue. You wouldn't see this in the UK, it would be green or maybe even brown. And the shopping center is behind us and Paul, what on earth did we buy? Well, we went into Monoprix, which is like a sort of a supermarket type place, but it sells homeware stuff as well. And we spent 105 euro and 43 cents and that we paid is, in cash exact. That is under that is like about 90 something pounds and what did we buy well you'll just have to watch our haul episode at some point to find out but it usually involves soap food. and food and crisps. <laughs> and crisps and all and that coffee. sort of stuff and coffee yeah but there's a great range of shops in there we were going to go to starbucks but the time is coming up to about half past 11 and because we didn't have breakfast at the hotel we just had a few pastries that we had uh, left over from the previous day with some coffee and that was a few hours ago so we've decided that we're going to go straight to lunch and there are a few restaurants along here but you know what I've just seen I have just seen over there print temps I think we have to take a look at that that's one of the big department stores here in France what is this Paul I I am sun <laughs> lounging around I don't I don't really do that. Oh my god, but it does feel comfortable. Uh, I think I will only do this only in the morning before the peak of the sun gets up and before it's at its strongest. I wouldn't do it when it's like later on in the day when it's really hot. Like I'm just doing it in the morning. Well, we thought Marseille might just make one episode, but actually, no, no. <laughs> we've got so much footage that we're going to split it. So this is the end of part one. For those of you that have liked this episode, give us a thumbs up. For those of you that want to leave a comment, you can do so as well. And for those of you that have not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. And we also appreciate your likes and comments. And for those of you that are feeling extra generous, you can also buy us a coffee while we do these 
episodes and this will also help us with the YouTube algorithm. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.